We're going to take the simplex, which is in 4D space, and move it gradually so that different cross-sections of it meet our three-dimensional space. In the same way that reptiles could see a polygon appearing and disappearing, we'll see a three-dimensional polyhedron which appears, changes shape, and then vanishes. Here is the simplex passing through our three-dimensional space. We're now going to meet more four-dimensional polyhedra passing through our own three-dimensional world. Here is the hypercube, a member of the family that starts with the segment and continues up through the square and the cube. I must confess that getting a feeling for the geometry from the slice method like this is rather tricky. I discovered the analogs of the icosahedron and the dodecahedron. They have complicated names, but I'll just call them 120 cell and 600 cell, since the former has 120 faces and the latter 600. Look at the 120 cell. It's just passing through our space. And now, here's the 600 cell. Of course, when I say that a four-dimensional polyhedron has 600 faces, I mean three-dimensional faces. Yes, these 600 faces are 600 tetrahedra. As for the 120 cell, it consists of 120 dodecahedra. In a minute, we'll see how we can get to know them better. To observe these four-dimensional objects with our three-dimensional eyes, we can look at their shadows. The objects are still in 4D space, but they are projected onto our 3D space, exactly like a painter might project a landscape onto his canvas. We've already done just this with the simplex. Here is the hypercube. Of course, it's spinning in space so that we can appreciate all the details. Notice, for instance, that the hypercube has 16 vertices. Here's a little newcomer. It's the most beautiful of my discoveries. An object that I call the 24 cell, it has absolutely no analog in three dimensions. It's a purely four dimensional creature. I am very proud of my discovery. Look how wonderful it is. 24 vertices, 96 edges, 96 triangles, and 24 octahedra. A real little gem. Here is the shadow of the 120 cell in all its majesty. A rather complicated majesty, you have to agree. Let's get inside and have a look at its structure. Look. Six hundred vertices. 
1,200 edges. Four edges start at each vertex. A completely regular structure. All vertices, all edges, play the same role. It's a pity that the projection breaks the symmetry. Let's work your imagination a little. Imagine the object in 4D space where a huge group of rotations permutes all these vertices and edges. The champion is the 600 cell. Like a gigantic macro molecule with its 720 edges and 120 vertices, and 12 edges starting from each vertex. Our exploration of four-dimensional polyhedra won't stop here, as their stereographic projections are bound to give us a better feeling for their geometry.